Welcome to the unit on file management. This lesson is going to demonstrate how to manage folders so that you can be more efficient on the computer. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to My Computer and when My Computer is opened, go ahead and go to a safe location on your computer. In your case, you're going to go to your home drive. I'm going to go to my C drive. I'm going to right click anywhere in here and I'm going to say New Folder. That's one way you can make a new folder. You could also click on the New Folder option at the top of the window. Once you do that, type in Computer Class and then hit the Enter key. Once you've done that, open up that folder and now you're going to create six more folders. So I'm going to right click and say New Folder. I'm going to have an Images folder. I'm going to right click again and choose Folder. I'm going to have an Excel folder and I'm going to keep creating it and I'll come back so you can see what those folders are. So here are six folders and I intentionally made a mistake on one of them. It was supposed to be called Sound but I, f I didn't hit the Enter key after setting up the new folder so now it says New Folder. So to change that you'll right click on that and choose Rename. Make sure that after you type it in you hit the Enter key of your keyboard. Now we have six folders and we will be filling them up with information. So for now let's go ahead and we'll go to Microsoft Excel and save an Excel spreadsheet. So you go to the Start menu and if it's not he right here right away go to All Programs and then you're going to locate Microsoft Office. So we're going to open up Microsoft Office 2010. When that loads we're going to save it immediately in that Excel folder. So I'll go ahead and move this over so you can see what's going on. So we're not going to do anything to this spreadsheet. We're just going to save it and name it accordingly. So we'll say File Save As. Now this is something interesting to know. If you know that you're going to open this on something that other than Word two th Excel 2010, make sure that you set it for that program. So for example, if you're going to work on this at s somewhere else and it happens to be an Excel spreadsheet that is for 2003, you would save it for that version. But since we know we're going to open it on a 2010 computer, we're going to just save it. We're going to make sure we give it a file name because that's really a good habit. So we'll call this Graph. And we'll go ahead and make sure that you locate that folder you just created. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the computer. I'm going to go to that Drive Computer Class, go to Excel, and go ahead and click the Save button. Once that's done, close it, and now we're going to fill up the Images folder. So we're going to go to the Internet right now. I'm going to look up a picture of your favorite animal. I'm going to look up my favorite animal. And then you do the same. You look up your favorite animal. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to go to Google. Once Google is loaded, I'm going to click on the Images option. And before I continue, I'm going to go to the Advanced Image Search. And at the bottom it says Safe Search. Make sure you have Use Strict Filtering to keep it a safe image search. That's really important. So now I'm going to hit Google Search and I'm going to type in my fav one of my favorite animals, which is a polar bear. Now something you want to do when you grab images, you always want to get the larger image because if you need to a large image you don't want to have to stretch a small image. I can't think of any time I would ever do that. So let me go ahead and scroll down until I find something I want. There's a lot of great images here. Here's a cub. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to right click on that image and I'm going to choose Save Picture As. When that loads I'm going to locate that folder called Computer Class that I just created that happens to be in my C drive, you will have it somewhere different. Computer Class, Images, and get in the habit of renaming. A lot of times the file name that you, of an image that you get offline is a terrible name and if you needed to do an image search on your computer it would be really difficult to locate that image unless you knew how you saved it. 
So I'm just going to call it Polar Bear. And I made sure it's in the Computer Class Images folder, and I will click Save. So now we're going to put something in the PowerPoint folder. So go to the Start menu, and PowerPoint 2010 happens to be in this window. If it's not, go to All Programs, then open up Microsoft Office, and locate Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 in this window. When it's loaded, we're going to save it as About Me, because we will actually be doing a project called About Me. If for some reason you get this window popping up, that means you have special software on your computer, and you can go ahead and, and um, choose the, the menu here and choose New, and then you can choose the blank presentation. Once you have that open, you can go ahead and save it. Go to Save As, and um, since we know it's going to be opened on a computer that has PowerPoint 2010, I'll choose this top option. When this window loads, I'm going to locate the folder in Computer Class PowerPoint, and I'm going to name it About Me, and click the Save button. Once you do that, you can go ahead and close the window. Now we're going to go and add something to the sound folder. So I'm going to go ahead and look up a site where we can get lots of really neat sounds for projects. And it's called Find Sounds. You can Google Find Sounds. So I'll go ahead and Google Find Sounds. And there it is. It's that top one. It's findsounds.com. So I'll go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to type in polar bear. You don't have to get the sound of the animal you chose, but just pick any animal that you know would make a cool sound. So I'll pick polar bear, and I'll do a search. And what you want to do is you want to click on the play button to be able to hear it. If you click on it, and you don't hear the sound, or this window doesn't load for you to hear the sound, it's possible that you need to go through the iTunes agreement and you would have to minimize, click on the minus sign of all your windows and you will see an iTunes agreement on your computer. Okay, otherwise if nothing's loading and you've already went through the iTunes agreement, keep playing until you can actually hear a sound. If you like the sound, hit the backspace button and then you would right click on that little play button and you would choose Save Target As. Okay, locate your sound folder that you created in Computer Class and name it accordingly. The name that is given Polar Bear is fine, so I'll leave it as is and click the Save button. When I'm done with Find Sounds, I'll close that window and go to the next one. I'm going to put three of my favorite websites in the Websites folder by making shortcuts. To do that, open up a browser. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. And what I'm going to do is, if you look at the top of the window, there's a red X. There's a little square there. If you click on the square, it makes it really huge. You can go back and forth by clicking on the, the square next to the red X because right now I want to make a small window. And I want to have my Websites folder open. And I'm going to go ahead and make this window smaller by dragging it. And I'm going to go ahead and look up some of my favorite websites. I'm going to look up KidsNetSoft. And I'm going to click on the, the website. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the little icon next to the HTTP and I'm going to click down and I'm going to drag and drop it into that folder. It will now become a shortcut in that folder. I'll show you how that looks. So I'll close the KidsNetSoft website so you can see what's going on. So I closed the website. Now if I go to that website folder and I click on the shortcut KidsNetSoft, it will open it. 
And if you can't think of any websites right off the bat, just go ahead and grab some websites off of the KidsNet Soft website. So you might want to click on Sites of the Week on the KidsNet Soft website. This is where there's a lot of fun sites that kids really like. One of them is called um, Elbot. So you can click on the Elbot website, and to make a shortcut, you would click on the icon next to HTTP, click down on your mouse, you're going to be left clicking, and you're going to drag it, and once you're on top of that website folder, you're going to let go of your mouse, and the shortcut will appear in that folder. So you want to go ahead and get a total of three websites that you like. So now we're going to go to the last part of the assignment, and then you will be done. So now we're going to open up Microsoft Word by going to the Start menu. It's here on the side. Again, if it's not, All Programs, Microsoft Office, and then Microsoft Word 2010. When that window loads, all you're going to do is save it. File Save As. We're going to locate the Computers folder. And we're going to open up the, micro, the Word folder. With the Word folder open, go ahead and type in Poster and click the Save button. This concludes the session on file management. Hopefully you've gotten a lot out of this session. Until next time, have a wonderful day.